Ready to go to the vet? Ready to go to the vet, baby girl? Are you ready? about that with so many smells. It's <laughs> probably so overwhelmed right now. Dark Alright baby. Party before we go back in the car. We tried. But she's all done. Say it's a good girl. She's a really good girl. We're gonna try to go party before we go home. It's on uh, my side. Clean off the paws, baby girl. Just clean off the paws. Girl, clean off the paws. Girl, Phoebe. Girl. You were such a good girl today. Hey. All done? Okay. We're back home at 6.12 and she usually eats dinner at 6 so it is her dinner time. Okay, so we are back home. They weighed her when we got there and she said that she weighed 10.6 pounds. And then when they weighed her a second time when she was in the room, it was like coming in at 13 pounds. So somewhere between the two is how much she weighs. They said that she is really healthy. She looks really good. She looks super tired. They gave her some flea medication. So she has that on the back of her neck for the month. And they also gave us her heartworm medication, a little tablet to give her as well. She got her second distemper shot today, and she also got dewormed again. So then we scheduled her for her next appointment in about a month, and we have to bring in a stool sample just to make sure that the deworming worked good. And then she's going to get her third distemper shot, her baby shot, and her lepto lime. So hopefully she does good with that as well. She did awesome today. They kept giving her cheese, and she loved the cheese. They also cut her nails complimentary and they showed us how to do that and we had a whole million long list of questions for them and they answered all of those and now she's eating my hand. Marcy did you like to go to the vet? She really didn't mind it she had a pretty good time we're the only ones there so maybe that was helpful but I think all the smells were a little overwhelming for her. This is her heartworm medication I'm gonna give that to her You did. Good girl. Good girl, baby. Good girl. You didn't even have to fight you for it. Did you really like it? Is it flavored? Yeah, you like that. I don't think so. 
That's been pretty good, Dell. Prevents heartworm disease, treats and controls common intestinal parasites, including roundworms, hookworms, whipworms, and tapeworms. Okay, well now we don't have to worry about that. They also gave her this little certificate of bravery after her first vet appointment, which I thought was super cute. Hey, one of my favorite toys is a bottle. And we put some milk bones in here, so it's like a little bottle. Go get it. She loves it. Right, Lassie? Do you want to go to the vet? So yesterday, Larcy went to her second vet appointment with us. It was her fourth one total, but it was just the second one with us. And she got four shots. She got her Nexus Demper shot, she got her Lepto Lime, she got her Bordetella, and she also got her Rabies. So she did really good. The vet actually called us before our appointment and it was in the middle of us actually getting family photos done and I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna call and like cancel our appointment or something. But they're actually calling to see if we would be able to come earlier, which honestly worked out way better for us. So we go to her vet appointment early and there's this other dog who is like freaking out, having a really hard time the whole time. So I don't know if it was like some emergency something that popped up. So we ended up not being seen until our appointment time anyways, which is fine, but she did so good. She was such a good girl at the vet. There was other dogs there this time. Last time she went, she was the only dog there. And of course she loved all eyes on her, but she just wanted to play with all the other doggies that she saw. She loves, 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 loves big puppies. And there's this huge German Shepherd there like the biggest German Shepherd I've ever seen in my life like looked like a big like wolf or something and she so badly wanted to play with it <laughs> but they weighed her and she weighed 22 pounds so she weighed you know 10 pounds more about since the last time she was at the vet which was almost exactly a month ago they also put on her new flea medicine for the month and gave her another heartworm pill and we just talked to her a lot about how she's doing and she's been doing really good we talked about food like we've been wanting to change her food for a little while just because we want to try something different hey Larcy just because we've been wanting to try something different and there's so many hold on there's so many different foods out there there's so many different opinions and I mean we've been trying to do so much research to see like what actually is the best food for her and that kind of agreed with what our idea was so we got her a new bag of dog food we took her to tractor supply and we wanted to get something right now ideally because she has like half a bag left of her current dog food so that way we have time to slowly transition her to her new food <laughs> This is the second time she's been to Tractor Supply and she loves it. She loves all the people. She loves when people come up to her. She loves the attention. We let her go to the toy aisle and she was gonna pick out a toy, but she kept wanting these tennis balls. You guys know of any tennis balls that like don't have the stuff that shreds that you can pull apart please let me know because she loves those tennis balls but she always like tears apart the outsides so we didn't end up buying her one but that's of course what she wanted to get so something like this so she loves, clearly loves these type of balls, but as you can see, she like eats all the stuff around it and I really don't want her to eat that. So if you know of any balls that are like this, that don't have this stuff on it, please let me know. So she's almost completely done with her shots. I think she has two more. She has to go back in three weeks. It's all yucky. And then the next thing on our to-do list is just getting her spayed, which won't be until she's a little bit bigger. When we brought her home, she immediately was like really tired and sleepy. And I thought she was gonna be way more like chill and sleepy today, like she was the first time that we took her for shots. But she really hasn't acted too much different than how she normally does. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that we noticed 
Ooh. <laughs> that her rib on the right side felt really strange and we were wondering if like she broke it at one point or what but apparently on the right side she has a floating rib so it like is indented and it feels like it's like broken off or something or just like it didn't completely form but the vet said that it was like totally normal and it happens sometimes like it's nothing that is going to affect her Okay, she just pushed it <laughs> as she gets older, but just something that we are aware of, so. <laughs> so, they also had mentioned when we were, were there the first time that they wanted us to bring a stool sample, but they never said anything about it. So the second time that we went, we brought a stool sample and it, like I said, is snowy out. So by the time we got there, it was basically just like watered down. And I was like, are they still gonna want this? Like, this is pretty gross. I feel bad giving it to them, but they still took it. And they set it up on the counter in one of her doggy bags. And then they brought her up there because they're weighing her and just doing her exam. Well, she pawed at it and she must have broke it open. She got it on the counter. She got it on my coat. She got it on herself. Yeah, it was pretty gross. But they did call this morning and they said that everything came back negative, so there was nothing to worry about. She's got all of her toys out. Well, some of them. Chewing on a bone, living life, enjoying life. Hi, sweet pea. Overall, she's really good at the vet, which I'm very okay with because I don't ever want her to associate the vet with like pain or something negative. The vet that we go to, we're very happy with. They're awesome with her. So yeah, that is her first and second, I guess, vet appointment updates. I hope you enjoyed. She now almost has every single vaccination that she could have. I just would rather have her have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You know what I mean? So like we're thinking about taking her to training classes even though she's super smart and knows like literally how to do everything, but just more for like socialization because She's used to just us, and like when people come over, she just goes insane because she's so excited, but I mean, not everybody wants a puppy jumping all over you, and she just needs to learn how to, I don't know, be better behaved in those public type of situations. She also got to go on her first walk yesterday when we were doing our family photos. It wasn't really a formal, traditional walk, but she got to go on a little bit of a walk, but she did really, really good. She is always on a leash when we take her outside, but we've never like taken her on a formal walk because it's freezing out and we have a bunch of snow where we live. So we just do like little short walks around the house or like, like I said, if we're outside with her when she's going potty. But I hope you enjoyed watching her first and second vet experiences with us. If you haven't seen the other videos with her, I will leave her playlist down below. It's the Life with Larcy playlist and she also has an Instagram. If you're not following her on Instagram, her handle is Life with Larcy and she does post every single day. Come here. So that is all for this video. This big ham weighs 22 pounds. Mommy's so sad about it, and we will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys! <laughs> I just say bye!